You've been there and done that quite a bit in your career, Peter. You're in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, but uh, when you sat down with Brady for your previous column, I imagine it's the first time you've ever sat down with a 44-year-old defending Super Bowl MVP <laughs> off of his seventh championship. Well, how did you find Brady when you s- chatted with him, Peter? Effusive, excited, um, you know, really, really happy, content with his life, happy he did what he did. Um, It's amazing, Rich, to think that he's 1,593 days older than any other football player in the NFL. (laughs) That's Um, a great number. It's just just absurd. It's absurd. Because not only does he look young, he acts young. And the day that I saw him, he was playing mentor slash teacher to a fourth-round smurf from North Texas State, a receiver named Jalen Darden. Um and he's really getting into that like role. It, last year was OJ Howard, and 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 the other guys. This year it's Jalen Darden. He has been really uh, uh, sort of uh, he, he's really come alive with a third down back like he had with James White in New England. Gio Bernard this year. And I told a buddy of mine who's a fantasy football player. I said. Look, I'm not altogether familiar with what really matters in fantasy football, but I do think that this guy, Gio Bernard, is going to score a lot of touchdowns and is going to have a chance to be a really good red zone player. Um, And again, I don't know what all that means, but he's going to touch it a lot. He's going to be really good. And, you know, if anything, and you don't know what's going to happen with injuries, but if anything, that offense is better. And you know what, Rich? It was funny. An hour after the Super Bowl, I was talking to Bruce Arians. You know, I was in the same building as he was, but we were talking on the phone because you couldn't meet in person then. And he said to me, you know, he said, it sounds crazy, but you know, the sad thing is we don't have more games to play. This is the best we've been all year on both sides of the ball, and it's it's just a shame the season is ending. And so... This was not a team that was weary at the end of the year. This is a team that was excited at the end of the year. So they've got a lot of different things going for them this year in Tampa. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.